It is possible that people may have the impression that being angry is always wrong, that it is always sinful. But if you look in the New Testament, we find that this is not necessarily the case. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 says, Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun set upon your anger. Notice here that the Apostle Paul, he makes a distinction between the emotion, the be angry, and then the action that would cause one to sin against God, where it says, and do not sin. Just because we are feeling angry does not necessarily mean that we have sinned against God. They are two separate things, two separate actions. If you turn to Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 and also verse 22, we can see where Jesus speaks about anger in the Sermon on the Mount. It says, You have heard that it was said to the ancients, Do not murder, but whoever murders will be liable to the judgment. Jesus then expands upon this and speaks about anger, saying, But I say to you that everyone who is vainly angry toward his brother will be liable to the judgment. Jesus does not speak of a blanket statement against anger. He does not tell us that we can never, ever be angry. No, he tells us about the fact that we should not be vainly angry toward our brother. And if we do so, then we will be liable to the judgment. We must not be angry without a cause. If you turn to Mark chapter 3, verses 4 and 5, we have an explicit statement here in the Gospels where Jesus is said to be angry. Now this I believe is not the only time that Jesus was ever angry. I think there are cases that can be made for other situations as well. But here in Mark chapter 3 verses 4 and 5, there is the explicit statement about Jesus being angry. He asks those people with him whether or not it is legal to do certain things on the Sabbath day. Now he says to them, Is it legal on the Sabbath day to do good or to do evil? to save a life, or to kill. But they were silent. But notice what it says about Jesus here in verse 5. And looking around at them with anger, being sorrowful at the hardening of their heart, he says to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored as healthy as the other. So from here, and also a few other passages, we have seen that the emotion of anger is not necessarily the same thing as being sinful or doing a sin. There are two different things, and sometimes it is appropriate to be angry, as we have seen here with Jesus, where he was angry with those who are nearby. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and have a nice day.